great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the NC State Wolfpack. Tonight, we've got an interesting matchup at the power forward spot. Number 33 is the floor general out there. He's got great court sense. The player will be guarding tonight is also a tremendous leader, Brad. This has potential to be one of the great matchups of the year, baby. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. The Wolfpack are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested or not, Brad, they still have to do the following things. First of all, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Second, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Lastly, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. The shooting guard with the ball. He puts up the tray. He gets it to fall. Both teams looking to get things going here. The shooting guard takes the feed. Sinks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box, dumping inside. They've left him completely alone. And up, and it's good. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. to pack it inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Stolen away. Duncan, subpar performance is just destroying his confidence. Well, he knows he's not getting it done, and emotionally, he's bringing him down. The shooting guard takes the pass. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunities. Now you got to get back. Don't allow him to have numbers. Inside. Goes up for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Pushing up basketball. Oh, what a strip, Red. They get it out into transition. Up and inside. The center gets the ball. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. And now there's a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. That 
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They'll work it around the arc. And they come with a double team to stop it. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? Fed the low block. Takes away the pass. The shooting guard gets the pass. For two. Doesn't go. NC State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot, good. Charity strike. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Off the rim and no good. Ooh, look at a shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fakes it. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. They work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. High post screen, going to use it. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Here we go on the break. Looking for the foul. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Turns it over. He'll regroup the offense. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Puts it up, looking for contact. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Kicks off the lazy pass. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Basket falls despite the contact. The frustration right there. Look at that spacing. Great anticipation defensively. 
ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, not too many differences between these two players. Seems as though they're almost canceling each other out on the floor. This now could come down to which team is stronger. All right, thanks, Aaron. Here's a double team. Tries one from three-point land. Makes the shot. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. And they get the turnover. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barista walking in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And the fans are going wild. Hey, pandemonium is in full. Too many dribbles and a steal. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. to the action. Control of the ball. There he is, strips the ball loose. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They scored 13 in a row. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. They are, but at least the basketball team is getting some deserved recognition. And back they come the other way. Arm and foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Fighting Irish are falling apart mentally. Hey, it doesn't take much to bring the emotional level down, Brad. All it takes is a couple of turnovers, missed shots, and poor decisions, and the coach even goes wacky. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He tries the three. He's money with the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He looks for the bomb. He hits it. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call with the sixth man for no reason. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. There's the trap. 
steals the ball. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the outside. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. From three-point range. He nails the bucket. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Hunt in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Moving it around the perimeter. Picked off. Zalot's modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. Looking for a good shot. From right in the circle, way off target. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. That was nice. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Up and inside. He intercepts it. <laughs> Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. come with a double team to stop it. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Stop and pop. There was no doubt about that one. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He pump fakes. A whistle and a foul, and coach not happy on the sideline. 
You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He'll visit the charity strike. He got it. for three. He gets the bucket to fall. <laughs> Tries the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. the dribble gives it up steals a pass trying to draw some contact and he scores despite the hack that's a high post screen goes to the lane the wolf packs have got to continue to get him the ball that he's on fire In and out. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get the triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Another turnover. We're not talking out the turnovers either. The land. Jumped in front to take it away. Good fake. And now they'll bring it up. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He gets the rejection. And coming the other way on a break. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Gave it up. The Wolf Packs have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Intercepted. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. Outside jumper. Goes. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dude. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. On the dribble, gives it up. Unloads a three. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. At halftime, the Fighting Irish are trailing by 34. Conducted a scoring clinic out there in the first half, partner. He was awesome, baby, with a capital A. I mean, the lean, mean scoring machine, Mr. Nestler. Dick, it's all about teamwork, and as we start the second half and take a look at our player matchup update, it's pretty even. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting the ball at the right time. 
You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. For two, he gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Takes it off him. Here they go into the break. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Picks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. They're working around the arc. Picked out of the air. Fake. With the fake. With a little baby hook. The Fighting Irish have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. On the outside. He wants a three. He hits the shot. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Gave it up. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass they work it around the perimeter on the inside Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you Stolen ball. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Sets the screen for his teammate. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper, looking for a good shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Way off target. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Good teams will get to the line awful, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. From a nylon MBN. They work it around the perimeter. He does the sweet fake shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He looks for three. Buried it. The Wolfpack lead by 32. Tightly guarded. For two, gets it to fall. Three, 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 
Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Takes away the pass. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Tries for two. The lay-in. Strips the ball. Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Lobs it, leans in. Got to make that baby at a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy deuce. Jump hook from the low block. And off the mark. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Wolfpack are up by 30. He makes the block. Transition opportunity coming up. He intercepts it. There should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nestler. The fake. He shoots from left of the circle. He can't get the hook to fall. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number 34 with the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Count that as a personal foul. Nick, look at the number of points on turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin moves. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Fake. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. The defender is still applying great ball pressure. He rejects it. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. He throws it up from downtown. Knocks it down. perimeter he shoots from the angle nice job of dribbling off the screen but the shot just didn't fall boy it's all elbows and shoulders down there and I think the defense is winning Dick I tell you doing a great job in post defense a lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught and this kid has responded in a positive way the ball goes out of play 
Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the difference in scoring jumps out at me. It's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of his shot opportunities, and he's making the most of it. Here's the three ball. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestle. Horrible shot selection. The Wolf Pack to find a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Daddy's on fire. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The Fighting Irish have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He's got a nice shot fake. He dials long distance. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Off the rim and no good. For two, he sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. On the outside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. From beyond the arc, scorches the net. That's a 7 nothing run. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Goes for the deep one. Way off target. Picked off. Duncan is emotionally pumped up. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Jumped in front to take it away. He puts it in with contact and all. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. He hits the first shot. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. And he got them both. 
That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. And he'll kick it back outside. He attempts the trifecta. He hits it. Picks off the pass. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use him? Up and inside. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He takes it away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They scored seven in a row. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see wall man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Gave it up. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's a double team waiting there. And the ball goes out of bounds. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays. And boy, do they have the momentum now. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. a flash from the high post. The shot from the baseline. NC State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Takes it off him. And again, they look to run. For the bucket, perfectly executed. That's an 11-zip run. Way about ready to resume. The student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Wide open for the shot. He gets it to go. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Intercepted. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Looks to run. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the turnaround jumper. The Fighting Irish have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Up and inside. He shoots from left of the circle. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. off the lazy pass. Here they come now on a turnover. Goes up for two. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow them to get to the baseline. High post flashes for the ball handler. Off the rim and no good. 
This team right now is just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Turnaround jumper. In and out. See, that's what I like. A good rebound. Too many players these days want to score and do all the fancy stuff. Rebounding doesn't get you on Sports Center, but it helps your team win. Went away from the post and goes the other way. And right at the circle. Way off target. Puts up the tray. Sinks the shot. <laughs> Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He puts up the three ball. He gets that one to fall. Play that back for me one time. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. Looking for a good shot. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. On the outside, he squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. The Fighting Irish have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up for the bucket. You betcha. Working it around the perimeter. Steal. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. I'll tell you, Brad, what a breakdown defensively. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Ten seconds to put it up. Shot clock is dead. <laughs> Sinks the shot. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Nick, we know the TV business has got to have marquee matchups, but it's still about team basketball. I tell you one thing, Dad, that's great to watch individually. But remember, this is a team game, so it's really how the team responds as a unit.
Why, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. NC State destroys their opponent. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.